What's going on everybody? I hope all is well. One of the must-have skills for every drummer is the ability to play a groove with either a straight or a swung feel. See if you can hear the difference. Let's try another. All right, just one more. Now what I hope you can hear is that the straight feel is nice and even, whereas the swung feel has kind of a gallop and a bounce to it. And that's because the straight feel is using regular 16th notes, which are spaced evenly. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. The swung beat, on the other hand, is using triplet subdivisions. Triplet, 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 triplet. And to swing it, you simply take the middle note of the triplet out, which gives it that bounce and gallop kind of feel. Triplet, 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 triplet. When you start listening for this distinction in music, you're gonna notice that pretty much every song in most every genre is using one feel or the other. So it's absolutely vital that we as drummers are able to seamlessly switch between both of these worlds or we're gonna struggle with a large portion of music that's out there. So today, I wanna walk you through a few exercises that will get you going in the right direction. We're gonna begin by laying down regular 16th notes on the hats. Now try shifting the placement of just your left hand to give it that gallop feel, but keep your right hand where it is on the downbeats. So you're starting to get a sense of where the notes are placed within this swung grid. And that is the toughest part when you're first learning how to swing your beats. A lot of drummers aren't quite sure where to place the notes exactly. They end up just kind of guessing and the grooves never quite feel right. So instead of guessing, we're gonna use that 16th note grid in the hands to guide where our kick and snare should go. Check it out. Let's start again with those straight 16th notes, but this time put a basic beat with it. Cool, now try swinging the groove. Now one important thing to note is that the kick and snare didn't actually move when we started swinging those hi-hats. And that's because with this basic beat, all of the kick and snare notes fall on the right hand, which you guys now know does not shift when you swing those 16th notes. However, any notes that fall with the left hand will. So with that in mind, let's use a more complicated kick pattern this time around that falls with the left hand as well and see what happens. Now let's try swinging it and lining up the kick with the hands. Once you have that swing feel locked in, you can then simplify what your hands are doing, leaving you with this nice and bouncy hip hop style groove. The idea is to do this with a bunch of different kick patterns that you're familiar with and see how they feel on both sides of the spectrum. One other cool thing is that you can use this exact same approach to lock in your ghost notes as well. Check it out. Instead of putting both hands on the hi-hats for the 16th notes, we're gonna put the left hand on the snare. And when that starts to feel comfortable, you can again simplify what the hands are doing and then just choose which of those ghost notes you wanna leave in. Well done, you guys. We are chugging right along. I've got just one more exercise that I wanna share with you. This one's a bit more advanced, but it allows you to set up that straight and swung grid with just one hand. Watch this. We're gonna start with broken 16th notes in the right hand. 
Now we're gonna swing those 16th notes, giving us the standard jazz ride pattern. Now you can take some of your favorite grooves and lock them into each of those patterns. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it. I really hope that this video helps you out. For those of you that wanna take this concept a bit further, I'll have a transcription and drum loops of a bunch of famous swung beats that you can practice at home linked down below. But also stay tuned. We're gonna be getting into a lot more swung beats in the near future where you can put these techniques to the test. Thanks as always for watching and for your continued support. I will see you guys next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.